here we are. Hello. Here. How is everyone today? Where is everybody from? And I wanted to have an oil to put on before I did this, and I here, totally left I have it. oils on me. I was just rubbing. Thank you, because I love being touched. On you. <laughs> you, I have rose and frankincense on my diffuser. I actually do love being touched by rose and frankincense. Mm -hmm. So, I'm Jackie. This is Tracy. What's up? We're super excited to record this for you guys today. Um, we wanted to talk to you guys about just our bodies and the world we live in today and all the things coming at us. So, yeah. Uh, it just seems like to me there's an increase in health issues. People are sicker. People are exhausted all the time. Um, there's all these random new diseases that all have weird named medicines specifically yeah. for them with 4,000 other weird situations yeah. that also come up. And also the ones that you they don't know what to call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Right? My granddaddy would just roll over in his grave if he mm -hmm. knew all the things. So, yeah. Um, so, today we're going to talk to you guys about our cells and our bodies and how there's just a problem and everything is taking over and it's just it's yucky okay um here yeah this. so tracy show off my so magical Tracy's wand like, while i unload my like, what props is i'm playing with all my things yes so um we have a problem and it starts with symptoms right everybody has a symptom something's happening, my elbow hurts, or I have an upset stomach, or my head is hurting, or there's always something that we're always treating a symptom for, right? I mean, uh, we're treating a symptom. Um, so we wanted to talk about that, you guys. And like, so let me tell you, first thing, there's, there's several different areas that we're gonna hit, and the first one is the air we breathe. But before you do that, I wanna show what? off my super cute Props. Oh, yes, do it. All right, so, don't you love my cute bucket? I totally forgot about her bucket. I have this bucket, and the reason we have a bucket that really needs to be cleaned out. You're visual, aren't you? pretty gross. I am. Okay. I'm super visual. <laughs> <laughs> and for our visual learners. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, who needs an object lesson? Um, but the bucket is to represent, like, we are going to talk about all the things that can make you feel unhealthy and unwell, but the fact is your body is built to... Get rid of that stuff. <clears throat> Your body has a natural system to detox, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so we're going to use the bucket to basically illustrate that. So this is your body's system and way of getting rid of the things that would make you feel bad if you didn't get rid of them, right? So we're, we're made to process yucky stuff that exactly. we choose to use or Correct. eat or whatever. Yeah, and even some of the things you can't help. There's some things that, you know, you encounter that you can't help. Right. Because you can't be boy in the bubble. Sorry. Right. Boy in the Bubble, that sounds amazing. Best movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows Boy in the Bubble? Oh, yes. I need, I need to hear about okay, it. Okay, so what, what are we going to talk about? All right. Do you want to go over so, our topics? Yeah, absolutely. And okay. so this bucket is going to basically represent my body, right? Um, and my body's system of Let me hold your getting rid of things. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hold it though. Uh, okay. And so the first, I know I told you it was yucky inside. The first um, area that we're going to talk about is the air that we breathe. Yes. Right? And so there are things in the air that you breathe in that you can help, right? There's mm -hmm. some things you can bring into your home and choose to have in your air. And then there's some things you can't help. If you walk outside and the paper mill down the road is just chugging away, Ugh. you can't help that you're or breathing Or the chicken that houses. Oh. Or that diesel truck that just unloaded all of his smoke in front of you. Or the bug spray truck that's driving through your neighborhood, whether you like it or not. Right. There's some things you just can't avoid, but thankfully, your body is made to process that stuff. But there's some stuff that you can um, choose to avoid, and everybody's going to hate me from the get-go when I show this, but... The first thing I would say you need to ditch are Apple pumpkin. plug in plug ins and candles, right? Um, and so if you have fall candles in your house, um, you guys, you feel cozy and warm, like you're. I don't. I feel tea. sick and nauseous. Right, but if you don't know that you're sick and nauseous because of your candle, that's you don't true. Know, you think you feel warm and fuzzy, you actually want to vomit and you have a headache. Um, <laughs> but this is one of the first things you need to ditch because right. when you put this into your bucket, right, when you're breathing, um, there's no apples or pumpkins in that candle. That candle has chemicals that are formulated to smell like apples and pumpkins but there's nothing natural in it so you're breathing that in your family's breathing that in and it's not good for your respiratory system yeah. it's not good for any part yeah. of your body really um and so that's one of those toxins that you could avoid right and should um 
And then this is one, this is an Airwick like plug in thing. And Did I, you buy these? I bought these. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never open it, it. Um, because I, I just didn't have any of this stuff at my house anymore. But um, apple and cinnamon fragrance. So again, this yeah. is going to be one of those fall smells that you think is wonderful. Um, and it says it's natural essential oils, but it's not. <laughs> um, and so that matters. But this is, again, this is just as bad as a candle. If you've mm -hmm. got plug-ins, wax burner thingies, um, right. Yuck. Any of that non... We actually accidentally stopped using this stuff, not because it was toxic, but because Miles had asthma. And mm -hmm. he, he literally would have an asthma attack and could not breathe. And yeah. so I was like, well, we just can't use those. We can't be around those. And mm -hmm. we would like go the opposite way in the mall so we didn't have to walk by that store. Y'all yeah. know which store I'm talking oh. about. Um, because it would trigger him. Right. So yeah. that We, we had itself. potpourri and stuff growing up. Ugh. My mom had potpourri in the small bathroom downstairs and... It was so overwhelming that I would walk up the stairs to go to the bathroom just to avoid that bowl of lettuce looking potpourri. Bleh. That's so gross. Some brown <laughs> yeah. stuff. Um, so that's stuff that's in the air that you're mm -hmm. breathing in that some of it you can help, some of it you can't, right? right. Um, you can't help it when you walk into the public bathroom and they're pumping that stuff. Yeah. As, you know, soon as, as, you walk in, as soon as you walk in and it's like, <laughs> someone's in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm like, run away. Right. Yeah. Right, and and it's a problem. So, anyways, but you see, like our bucket's not full. We're not. We're not. Our body can process this. You can handle some toxins, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so the next one that we want to talk about is your food and your water. We're going to talk about this. We didn't. There's water right behind you. I lost my we plastic cup. I don't know where it is. Mm, me neither. Anyways, pretend I'm holding a plastic cup. Um, we were going to put that in the bucket as well. So Look, if wait, you I have something better, okay. <laughs> This is great. Perfect. Oh, gross. Um, if you are, <laughs> if you're eating Ponto's dog toys, you this have is a, you have French a fries. Problem. These are French right. fries. We have French fries. We have pizza. We have a hot dog. We have pizza and hot dogs. Okay, but now um, we're gonna talk about. So, that. if you're eating food that is full of preservatives, if you're eating food that's full of natural flavor, which actually is a name that mm -hmm. they allow tons of chemicals to be put under. So there's nothing natural about natural flavor. Right. Um, if you're eating stuff with 99 ingredients on the back that you can't read and drinking water that's not filtered, you're yeah. adding more toxins to your body. What about... Or soft drinks. What about the, those chickens that are like not chickens and the cows that are like... A chicken breast that's bigger than your dog? That's not normal. That right? is not normal. <laughs> Full of antibiotics mm -hmm. and ki I mean just growth hormones, growth and things hormones. Like that. Yeah. yeah. So that stuff's not good. And even the even the packages of meat that say, um, you know, it might say um, cage free. Well, that just means that that chicken wasn't raised in a battery cage to lay those eggs, but it was probably still in a big warehouse that never saw the light of day, mm -hmm. which is just not natural. Like animals were created to live a natural animal life. Right. A chicken should experience its chickenness right just like a cow should experience its cow and a child yeah. should experience childhood mm -hmm. and not start things and become a young lady at age mm -hmm. eight because they've been fed all of these chemicals mm -hmm. and not chemicals um antibiotics and yeah, growth hormones chemicals. well it's chemicals yeah and they're developing i mean you guys think back think back 20 years ago mm -hmm. did a 10 year old look like a 20 year old no, yeah. they didn't. Mm -hmm. And it's this is part of the problem. Right, absolutely part of the problem. Also, social media is part of the problem. Thank you, Kardashians. It's fine. It's whatever. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like that is like what kids are experiencing and what they're exposed to and what they're fed and what they're putting on their bodies and all of that is mm -hmm. is all impacting their hormones. And all you know, I, I feel like we throw around that that big C word a lot. Like this causes cancer. Or that causes cancer. Well, that. I think we're almost desensitized to that to mm -hmm. the point that we're like, oh, well, it's just a drop in the bucket. Well, everything causes cancer. Like, I feel like we've kind of just thrown up our hands and right. said, well, I mean, something's going to kill me, but the quantity of your life to me is not as important as the quality of your life. And if exactly. you are doing things that are hurting your respiratory system, it's, it's hard to enjoy your life if you can't breathe. It's hard to enjoy your life if your hormones are all out of whack. Yes. So we have to remember that that all these things, all these toxins impact all systems of your body, not just one system. Right. Um, That's good. So there's that. Yep. Um, you were stress. talking. Well, you were talking. Well, you didn't. You got to finish your water. Oh, the water. yeah. Oh, the water. The water. So you guys see right behind Tracy, there's a Berkey right there. Might and I 
want to get the whole house filtration mm -hmm. in home all the things yeah. um, because if, if you have recently purchased a filter of any kind mm -hmm. a Brita um, pure whatever it is I want you to read the box go back and read the box or just go to the store and pick it up off the shelf you don't even have to spend yeah. a penny just go look at the box and see what it says that it filters out it's gross it says <laughs> on there that it um, what is the word they use they don't say most they don't say I can't remember what word it is they use but mm -hmm. it it talks about pharmaceuticals yeah and so that made us dig a little mm -hmm. and we found out that obviously one of the top um, I'll tell you guys the top three the top are um, antibiotics pain pills mm -hmm. and do you know what number three was do you want to take a guess <laughs> anybody even if you guessed I could not see the screen so <laughs> it's Viagra uh -huh. Viagra you guys is going down your drain into the system being filtered and things are being added to it like fluoride because that's good for you mm -hmm. they're bleaching it they're taking your poop out of it they're doing all the things and they pump it right back in to your sink delicious yummy don't you want to go brush your teeth right now with your sink yeah I do mm -hmm. that's why I have hard water I bet mm -hmm. I don't know but the <laughs> the funny thing to me I was talking to a friend of mine who's a pharmacist about this and she said yeah some of it is because you're, you know, if you're taking those medicines and then you go to the bathroom, some of your waste is going in and that's part of it. But another part of it is people just dumping their pills in the toilet. Mm -hmm. And she said, like, they're really working hard to try to teach people and educate people not to do that. But that a lot of people still flush yeah. their pills. And if you're flushing your pills, you're sending that right to everybody's house. And so please don't do that. And then you bathe in it. Delicious. And drink it. Right. And make your coffee with it. Not and great. It's not great. So again, if you're not filtering your water, and sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. There are times that I go drink water out of a water fountain because I'm hot and I'm sweaty, or I order water. But at a your bucket can process. But my it. bucket can process some of it because I am reducing as many toxins as I possibly right. can. So we're still we're kind of filling we're up still, our bucket. We're still doing good in there. Um, so the next issue that we have is stress, mm. right? And the stress hormones that your body cortisol produces um, when you're exposed to stress are cortisol yeah there's more cortisol is the one most people know because we know that causes belly fat and nobody likes belly fat um, and so we know that's the big one right right um, but the more stress that you're under the more that your body is having to deal with that toxic bucket mm -hmm. so that is a whole other stress lowers your immune system it mm -hmm. does so much yeah it really does and there's a lot of great tips for reducing stress that we're going to get to too um but then the next thing we want to talk about is products and so this incorporates anything that you are putting in or on your body mm -hmm. on the regular okay um and so how many yeah go ahead how many people <laughs> You she didn't know it was gonna whip out the tampon. I did not. Over <laughs> three hundred chemicals in the morning before breakfast. Mm -hmm. A lot of us. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're a woman. Because yeah. think about it, we're showering, we're I mean, we even wipe our bottoms with toilet paper and use tampons that are not organic cotton. It's toxic, yeah. They've been sprayed. And and this makes me mad, I think, mostly because um, you know, most girls at this point use a tampon once they start their period and you're shoving chemicals and bleached material that's not cotton in your um, lady garden up into the most sensitive part of your body right. up in the lady garden your all girls. up in the lady garden um and so that's and also i will tell you when i stopped using toxic tampons i found a decrease in cramps me too i found a decrease in like psycho flow yeah um and so the pain even like the pain yeah the cramps mm -hmm. were, were much less and um my mood swings were even not as bad and that's, I, and that's just from one little swap Go ask somebody, ladies, go ask a friend today. Go ask five of them and tell me how many do not have some type of monthly issue, whether it's endometriosis, cystic fibroids, mm -hmm. something, abnormal pap smears. Go, just go ask five people today. Yeah. Because for sure. I guarantee you, every one of them use tampons. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so then the, the next product I'm going to whip out, I'm, I'm going to just make everyone mad. Nobody's going to like me after this video, That's but okay. it's okay. I'm trying to be friends. Nail polish. You paint your nails. Um, if you are painting your nails at home or using nail polish remover at home, um, you're probably doing better than if you're going to the salon. But if you're going to the nail salon and they're using toxic chemicals to put things on your nails, take things off your nails, mm -hmm. you're being affected Wrap by Wrap it that. up with some aluminum foil oh and gosh. cotton balls and soak them off. All the things. 
hey, I'm guilty. That's one of my things. I use. Yeah. I, I get my fingernails painted. But again, if you are if you are reducing toxins in some areas, you can have those things here and there. You know, that's right. It's balance, right? You cannot go. You cannot go boy in the bubble. Why as didn't much you tell me to put to. my lip gloss on? Watch on. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, toxins, right? More toxins Yuck. in your bucket. Um, deodorant is a huge one, right? Deodorant is a huge one, and I, and I'll tell you, like, I used normal Dove deodorant, and then I needed more. Like, I would be carrying it around yeah. with me during the day. Then that stopped working, and then I started using Clinical Protection deodorant, and that stopped working. I literally had deodorant stashed in like every bag because it just wasn't working, wasn't working, and I was having to apply more and more and more. And uh -huh. then I start learning about. The dangers of deodorant Aluminum and antiperspirant that you're putting right there next to the cells where they biopsy uh -huh. cancer uh -huh. in the breast. Yeah, shocker. Mm -hmm. So we're giving Not it great. to ourselves. Right. Cool. Put awesome. it in the bucket. In the bucket it goes. Um, and then, then everybody's favorite. This is my old makeup bag that I held on to when I bought cleaner makeup because I just wasn't sure I was going to trust it. Um, I did the same thing when I bought my first kit. Like I mm -hmm. held on to all my old cleaners because I just didn't know. Um, and I, they might still be in a box in my garage somewhere. But anyways, um, makeup. So there's so many toxins in makeup. It's not even funny that actually cause aging. They mm. cause skin issues like blemishes and things like that. Um, they're causing the problems that you think you're covering up and trying to treat. Um, and it's actually it's making it worse yeah. and it's also going in your toxicity bucket and uh, you see it starting to get kind of full over here so we get to a point where the toxins start to overflow your bucket can only filter so much at a time so when you're going at it all day long all day um, just throwing all the things in it starts to overflow and then we start to experience symptoms. did you see the article on all the little girl uh, makeup that they had to do a recall with because it had asbestos and stuff like uh, that, that makes me mad <laughs> That makes me mad. I just like all to the chemicals my on um, chemical, the, the top three produce items that um, are full of pesticides. Apples, grapes, grapes and berries. Yes, and guess what that's my kids kid eat. Fruit. That's the kid fruit. <sighs> and it makes me sick that it that's where all sick. the toxins are. And we have a thing that we clean our fruit with now, and it's amazing. Like, my kids make a joke out of it. They're like, Mom, look, guess, what's ones I, guess which ones I washed. Mm. And I'm like those yeah. even our organic ones are, uh -huh. are well because there's organically approved pesticides now. right and so it may because say it's that it's organic, organic doesn't mean it still has chemicals on it right <clears throat> and then right. um the the other product i wanted to touch on is just cleaning supplies so this is one container i don't even like this being close to me because i can kind of faintly smell it. smell it um but when you use cleaners like this i'll tell you we had um major skin issues in our family and when i stopped using toxic cleaners, mm -hmm. the skin issues went away. And I think, I think the issue was we were killing all of the bacteria on our skin um, instead of just the bad bacteria. Yeah, and you so need the, good bacteria. the good bacteria couldn't fight back. Right. Um, but this is going in your toxic bucket too. So Ugh. if you're using toxic chemical cleaners in your home, you're, this is, you're causing this problems. This is not what we use for the season mm -hmm. that is coming up. Mm -hmm. The season that is coming up is not a season. It's actually a problem all year round. Yeah. Um, but this is not the answer. Mm -hmm. No, we could go into, we could have a class just about that. Yes. We should. But anyways, <laughs> and then the last thing I want to talk about is um, medications and things that you use to suppress symptoms in your household. So I have a first aid kit to represent that. Oh, um, I don't dang. know how we're going to fit it in our bucket, Jackie, but you're going to have to figure this out. But this has to go into, so if you're using over-the-counter um, things, that this is this is also going in your bucket. Oh, and no. That's, What's the percentage of actual medicine that's in each little capsule or pill or tablet? Oh, I think she's talking about 17%. Hmm. Only so what's 17%. the rest of that stuff? Well, it's like color and filler and all that kind of stuff. Flavors? Flavoring. Yeah. So like a bunch of chemicals the, you don't need. Side note, you guys, when I was little, I loved Advil. Like, you, do y'all remember the little like brown candy. coated yeah, Advil? I used to lick it. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I would like put them in my mouth and suck all the stuff off of it and spit them out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they tasted good. What in the world? Yeah, no. It's probably it was sugar or something to make. Jesus, help actually, me. Actually, it's probably corn syrup. Mm -hmm. I bet you it's corn syrup. Anyway, um, and so but you see, bucket. like your bucket's overflowing. So at this point, mm -hmm. you're exhausted. You're sick all the time. You probably have a headache. 
multiple times every week. I know I did. Um, overweight, because when you have major toxins in your life, your body is going to naturally carry more weight because it's got to stick that stuff somewhere. Right. If you're not filtering it out, it's probably going to your fat cells. Right. Um, and just generally not feeling good. So if you just generally feel unwell, it's very likely that your toxicity bucket in your body is just overflowing and yes. can't keep up with how much of it. Right, it. because of the bioaccumulation of all the things all the time, every day. It's not like we just choose one day, oh, well, today we had a really toxic day mm -hmm. because I had two cups of coffee. No, it started like in utero mm -hmm. because of what mom's eating, mom's drinking, and you have this perfectly perfect baby and you think well they, they you just have a clean slate to work with and you don't mm -hmm. so immediately you're noticing oh well they have eczema or they have you know whatever and it's it started a long time ago long before they were born mm -hmm. so it's really sad so like this also represents um your cells your cells are dirty you guys they're clogged they're damaged um i know you've heard or i hope you guys have heard about free radicals that's like the the Mm -hmm. happening word right now is oh my gosh free radicals here and there and you know they're just taking over so um Tracy and I like to joke even though it's not a joke about birds of a feather flock together right mm -hmm. so if you have unhealthy cells in your help me out in your stomach yeah and anywhere, anywhere and um now all of a sudden you have been piling on all of this nasty toxic lifestyle mm -hmm. now you've got more than one little unhealthy cell so all the cells are going to flock together birds mm -hmm. of a feather flock together and they cluster together and they and they form something that we don't even want to talk about right now mm -hmm. what's a cluster of unhealthy cells what is that <laughs> don't say it it rhymes with a rumor <laughs> <laughs> it's not good <laughs> so yeah no, what you. do we need to do guys we got to clean up our cells we mm -hmm. have i mean they're damaged they're they're suffocating they can't breathe because you've got this cell and you expose it to toxins and so that means you cover it mm -hmm. and then you expose it to more toxins you cover it and now it's suffocating and mm -hmm. it can't breathe and it can't communicate right. and say hey bro i need some help over here so now We've got all this yucky junk clogging our cells. Mm -hmm. And that's where everybody talks about detoxing. Oh, you need to detox. Right. Put lemon juice in your water because that's detoxing. It's bad for your teeth. No, it's not. <laughs> you need lemon oil, friends, not lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Detox baths. Eat foods that are detoxing. Go for a walk. Sweat. Mm -hmm. Drink lots of water. Those kinds of things. Because what that does if your cell can be saved, it's going to peel those layers off and it's going to detox those cells. Right. And now you have a cell that's happy again and it can talk to Which, everybody. Actually, if you're using essential oils, it even puts a coating on the cells it does. so that it's, it like rejects the toxins. Right. So it's protected. It's like a little shield. Love it. Amazing. <sighs> I so kind of feel like I got on a tangent just then. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you didn't. Okay. No, that was important stuff. Really right. important stuff. So yeah, so we talked about um, all the all the ways things can go wrong, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And we're talking about the things you can do to help to reduce as many toxins as possible, right? Um, and so my we, favorite is Young Living, right? Yeah. I mean, we could sit here all day and talk about a million different ways uh -huh. to reduce toxins, like apple but, cider vinegar, <laughs> Epsom salt, uh -huh. all the yeah, things. yoga. I mean, <laughs> all the things you can do to help to reduce stress and. Um, you know, put good things in your body mm -hmm. instead of bad things. Make some healthy swaps. Well, let's make a healthy swap really quick. Yeah. Okay. So the air. Mm -hmm. What what can I, what can I do there? Um, at home, throw those candles in the trash can and right. then take that trash right out to the road because mm -hmm. it doesn't need to be in your home at all. And get your diffuser. Yes. So that's going to be one really easy way. And you're not you're not losing the candles. You're switching it. Right. right. So it's not. You, you don't have to feel like you've lost. But something. also the cleaning products. I, I could not clean yeah. at home when Miles was was when he was home mm -hmm. because he would smell it oh, and he would and it would trigger his asthma. So I couldn't clean either. So mm -hmm. there you go. There's yeah. that. Which so, we yeah. would get to that in the next few. But um, what else? We had air. Then we had food. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing about our food now? Yeah. So so I try to swap out and and I tell people like okay if you want to do this, um, try to shop the perimeter of your grocery store. Mm. If you're gonna buy meat. 
personally, I would say find a farmer. Find somebody that you know that sells good quality meat and you know how the animals were raised. If right. that's not feasible, because it's not feasible for everyone, at least try to find the organic right. options. Um, it's a better choice, mm -hmm. right? And um, you're going to be shocked because your chicken breasts that are like this big uh -huh. are going to be like this big. Right. You're going to go, oh. Like a real chicken. Is this the really a sauce of a chicken? Right. Those those it chickens is. with chicken breasts that big, actually, if they, if they are one day late picking them up to process them, they start dropping dead of a heart attack. Yes, they do. Because they can't even function. Their legs it's can't disgusting. even carry their bodies. Right. It's sick. It is gross. It what about, mad. okay, our water. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, also, though, on the food thing, mm -hmm. if you're going to buy um, processed packaged food, look on the back and just see how many ingredients. Try to stick to five. So find things that have five mm -hmm. ingredients or less. That's a really easy way to start. That's good. Changing over your packaged foods. And the only ingredient cannot be sugar. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, that... But yeah, sugar's bad. But, um, water, right? You want to filter your water. I would totally say one of the first things you should do is throw the soft drinks out the window. Oh. Not really because we don't like litter, but get rid of the soft drinks. I don't I don't even know when the last time I drank. I, me neither. I, if I want something fizzy, like for instance, pizza and water are not yummy together. Mm -mm. That's weird. But if I'm going to have something that I would normally use to drink, I like the body. a soft drink. The frizzy, fizzy, frizzy. Okay. The frizzy the body. Frizzy. The frizzy ones. The frizzy body. Yeah, they're real hairy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I like um, I like like a Topo Chico, and I'll put a couple drops of like a Vitality mm. oil to flavor it. Right? Jade lemon is my favorite mm -hmm. in my so water. Sweet. Yeah, I like that too. So, so you know, just make some healthy switches. Kombucha is a great switch. Mm -hmm. So if you've been to, you do soft audience. drinks, switch to a good kombucha. Um, GTS is an easy one to Synergy GTS. That's mm -hmm. a good brand to kind of start with. That's good. Um, because some people freak out. Right. But filter your water. Yep. What about stress? Um, all the things to get rid of the stress. Get rid of that job that you hate. <laughs> Find something you do that you love. Um, prayer, meditation, exercise, mm -hmm. get enough sleep. Rest. Everybody makes fun of me because I go to bed at 7.30. I make fun of her for that. I freaking love it. <laughs> Guess what? I'm like, mm, even right. though there are days that I have, I have my days that I'm stressed out for sure. no reason. Sure. And when you have those days, then you then you deal with it. Like right. notice that you're stressed out. I actually, go get an oil. Get your oil that you like to use to help you just be calm. And then I'm giddy, breathe. and then that makes me mad. I'm like, how <laughs> does it do that? Right, because you're breathing and you you're conscious of it. Yeah. I think half of this is just awareness of what's going on around That's you good. for real. Um, products, products, products. There's one bottle. Use the one bottle for cleaning. Gosh, I should have brought some over here. No, that's okay. You got some in there, don't you? Maybe. Maybe. Um, and then find cleaner products. So find cleaner makeup. Find cleaner body wash. Find cleaner all the things. And if you're busy like me and Jackie, that means that Young Living is just an easy go-to because they legit have all the things. You can be a DIY mom. You can be the product mom where you just go, I just need to buy it because I don't have time to make it. Um, Usually I make my own deodorant. I make my own. My you make, own she makes my deodorant. deodorant. I make Jackie's deodorant. <laughs> I make everyone's. And deodorant. when I'm out, I use toothpaste. Right? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. People are gonna be like, "What, what? are y'all talking about?" Freaks. Um, I have toothpaste in my car right now for the people that forget deodorant. My kids. In my life, sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the kids. Yeah. Not okay. Pictures. And medication was the last thing, right? Yeah, and I don't know if we're allowed to say what we do for that, but we just don't take over-the-counter medicine anymore. We have natural solutions. First of all, let me say there's a time <laughs> and a place for medication. Mm -hmm. If my kids had a staph infection that I did not know mm -hmm. got to the point it's that I'm like, the whole holy crap, like I absolutely would go to the doctor and get a freaking thing of Bactrim or whatever it is they would prescribe me. Mm -hmm. There's a time and a place. We just don't personally... I'm speaking for my family when I say we, and, and me. Um, we just don't want a prescription thrown at everything. Mm -hmm. Not when we can be preventative, and right. that's that's really the secret here is it to is. be proactive and not reactive. And we usually grab the we grab the natural thing first. So you you are in a habit now, most likely of oh I have this issue, I grab this. I have this issue, I grab this. Oh you I have, have a headache, issue, I grab this. Oh your stomach hurts. Right, like here's what you do. Uh -huh. Well, we've just relearned. Well, how about I try this first and see um, how this works and. What normally happens is it the works. natural solution works. <laughs> it works. The natural solution works, and you don't ever have to reach for that other product. Right. So it's pretty easy. There's that. So yeah. that's how we swap all the things. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you know, that's it's that's basically it. Super easy. Mm -hmm. um, but I will tell you that we're here to tell you guys about that, but we're also here to tell you about Young Living. Yeah. Young Living is a game changer. It mm -hmm. absolutely changed our life. I was not natural at all. Give me a pill. Give me my Mountain Dew so I can take my pill. 
and let's move on with life. <laughs> Literally, I didn't, I didn't know that there was a natural way. I didn't mm-hmm. know that that was an option. Um, so we kind of found a back door into all of this and it worked. Um, my husband fell 30 feet backwards out of a tree stand and was completely paralyzed. Mm-hmm. And um, we were... We were broke and couldn't afford to drive to the store to get his prescription. It was just a mess. Um, so I'm so thankful that we found oils, mm-hmm. and um, it was and it was it was a total God thing, absolutely. And um, but oils are not just for that reactive because that's how you use them at first. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're oh, like, yeah. ah, what do I do? You're like, what do I do with this? I don't even. Yeah. It, does it smell okay? It smells good, but you don't. You're not thinking, oh, I need to use this because the seasons are changing and I start sneezing. Right. Like you're not thinking that. You're thinking, oh, I'm sneezing now. I need to use this. Mm-hmm. But it's a whole mindset. It shift. is. Yeah. It is. You're learning to. You you more than likely, if you're like us, you grew up learning. Oh, I have a symptom. Now I have to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Where what this is is a natural lifestyle where you you have a symptom. Well, then let's figure out what the cause of that is. Mm-hmm. What what caused this particular symptom? So let's deal with that issue yes. instead of just suppress the symptom. It's like sticking a bandaid on a broken leg. Right. It's it's not fixing not anything. Gonna happen. It might make you feel better for a second because your bandaid's cute, but it's not. And because you kissed it. Yeah. <laughs> and you might have had some ice. Yeah. Or yeah. So, you know, you want to you want to get to the root cause. Right. So, the essential ro- oils. Yeah, essential oils. That's the foundation so, of the company. Right. Um my favorite thing and I'm going to get kind of sciencey on you guys just for like 2 seconds cuz this was like my aha moment. And then I'll make it make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you remember earlier when we were talking about the toxicity bucket and we talked about all the things that it does to your cells? It damages your cells. Mm-hmm. It um uh, dirties them up and then it also um dehydrates them. dehydrates them right it suffocates them they can't breathe they can't move they can't do any of the things mm-hmm. so young living essential oils ha- there's this is i don't know how to like transition this to make it right to make it so make sense. well so like the essential oil is like it so what your body does what the blood does in your body essential oils do in a plant right right so think of all the things that you know you learned in the eighth grade science right. class phenols Monoterpenes and mm-hmm. sesquiterpenes. Mm-hmm. Those are the three things that oils are. Yeah. Like they're molecular the components. components mm-hmm. And that's what they do. Mm-hmm. They restore. They purify. Mm-hmm. They um, repair. They oxygenate your cells. And, you know. And they have a biointelligence about them. They so know, they what, know to do. what to do. Like if, if you lay a Band-Aid wrapped up on your leg, it's not going to know to unwrap itself and stick to the problem. Right. Right. I love her because see, I can explain it, and you're gonna be like, "What?" what? And I, I mean, like, I will go quantum physics real quick, uh-huh. but not me. A band aid <laughs> like o- unopened on right. your leg. It, it won't yes. know what to do. But right. the oils, you put them on your body, and they know what to do. Like we could, we could both use one drop of lemon oil right now, and one of our bodies might use it and get rid of it quickly. The other one may hang on to it for a lot longer because right. we might need it longer. Right. Oh, that is so good. So good. I love it. Tracy, <laughs> you're my favorite person ever. Oh, yeah. So, guys, why why do you need Young Living? Why do you need it? Because we it's cannot... An easy button. It, number one, it's an easy <laughs> button. But two, because we can't control the air, mm-hmm. the food, the water. The stress. The stress, the, the products, all the things. <clears throat> unless you just... Go, you know what? They can't. Yeah, go gangbusters. They can just the stop breathing. Yeah. And stop breathe. stressing. <laughs> stop eating. Don't drink any water. Mm-hmm. Don't take any medications and don't use any products. Then you're going to be fine. For like an hour. We could be done. Like, they don't, they <laughs> Wait, you can't anything. not breathe for an hour. You'll be done for, you'll be good for like a minute. Okay, so obviously we need Young Living. So mm-hmm. that's, that's my point, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so the different ways that we use our oils are we diffuse them. I brought this over here to show you guys. So this takes place. There are 12 of these in my house. Not this particular one, but there, there's one right there. I mean, they're like everywhere. They're in every room. Because we got tired of fighting over them. Um, and each one will have something different in it, depending on what the kid needs in there. Or if we're in the kitchen, I love to diffuse lemon and thieves in here. It just smells. It smells smells like I cleaned. It smells like I cleaned everything, (laughs) but I did it. (laughs) It's a great, um, but at night. We diffuse things to help everybody unwind and relax and go to sleep and stay asleep because these awesome diffusers have different settings and so they'll turn off and they'll turn back on and they'll turn off and they'll. That's turn back a big on. question I get. When it runs out of water, yes, it will just shut off. Yes. If you have off. the nightlight setting on, I think the nightlights on some of them stay on, but like it's not gonna 
burn down your house. It's no. not like that at all. It's no. not a hot thing. No, it's, it's cool mist. Mm -hmm. It's a cool mist diffuser. I yeah. love them. Um, so we diffuse them instead of using candles. And mm -hmm. there are tons of recipes everywhere of all the different oils you can use to make everything smell like that toxic Yankee right. doodle went And to Pinterest town. has all the recipes. I wasn't supposed to say that. You weren't, but you did. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> um, Yankee doodle. <laughs> Yankee doodle went to town. <laughs> and bought a candle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? What was that? Uh, diffuse. And then topically. So mm -hmm. we don't have a problem rubbing all the, mm, I almost said another brand, mm -hmm. <laughs> all over that, our skin that. and in our hair and on our hands and on like, our babies. We don't have a problem doing that. With so, their tiny toxicity bucket. Oh my gosh. It only it makes so me much. crazy how people are like, is this safe to use mm -hmm. with on my baby? And I'm like, it's plant. <laughs> it's plant are you juice. kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Do you know what you just rubbed on your baby? Right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to get angry because I'm like... <laughs> Um, so you use them aromatically, use them topically, and then Young Living, Young Living, not Target, not Walmart, not TJ Maxx, not gas station. Mm -hmm. Young Living has grass, G-R-A-S, certified essential oils, mm -hmm. which means they are safe, safe, safe for consumption. The labels will tell you which ones are safe to use. It's another easy button. Another easy button. So you see you see these white labels up here? These are Vitality labels. Mm -hmm. These tell you that it is safe to ingest. And by golly, you better bet my family puts these things under their tongue every single day. And We do too. All it's the time. Been, I'm going to take a step out. I'm and still alive. Me too. <gasps> are you sure? I feel pretty good, actually. I mean, <laughs> I have not died yet. Um, so, yeah. It's just an easy button, you guys. And we cook with these. Like, there's black pepper and cilantro and cumin. Like, I mm -hmm. put cilantro, a drop of cilantro mm -hmm. in our beef the other night for our tacos, and it was delicious. Yeah. Like. Try a Thieves Latte. That's the way to go. Yes, it is. A little bit of Thieves. It's so good. Delicious. Um, But there, if if there is a, mm, I can't say that. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> There's something for everything. Just trust that. There's something for everything. If you're. Knee doesn't feel good. You've got pain away. You can apply it to your knee. If you want to breathe better while you're exercising, you can rub something on your chest. Mm -hmm. If like it's I love the super emotional simple. support too. There's a bunch of ki of oils now in the kit that are specifically for emotional support and and really and truly like you could go do all the research and figure out which oils you need, or you can push the easy button and just and get your everyday. Oil this kit. is a starter kit for a reason. Like they literally. Right. Put them together because this is the best place to mm -hmm. start. I use something out of here every single day. Sometimes this is stress away. <laughs> yeah, sometimes all of them, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Some days. Yeah, literally. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What else? What else was I saying? Topically? Internally? Aromatically? Aromatically. We yeah. did them all. We did all of all them. Always. That's how you use them. It's mm -hmm. super simple. Guess what, guys? It doesn't matter how you use the oils. It's all going to get in your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. It really is. And knowing that... Just think about this. Knowing that whether you rub it on, put it under your tongue, or in a capsule, or s diffuse it, it's all getting in your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. Which means which means all those other things that you are breathing, smelling, tasting, rubbing on your body. Your skin absorbs 60% of what it touches. So, like, Everything. I'm barefoot right now in Jackie's house, and I'm not worried that my feet are absorbing anything gross. Mainly because I hadn't cleaned it at all. Well, but if anything. you did, you'd have mopped it with ease cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> I might absorb a cat hair. Right. Probably on this couch. <laughs> you know. You know. It's okay. It is. Life is. So, life. you guys, the, this Everyday Oil Kit is literally the best bang for your buck, mm -hmm. and I... I absolutely love it, and I can't tell you. I mean, there's um, about 13,000 members just on my team alone right. that I am so blessed to have equipped with this with this company and with these products, and it's, it's just the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, we can't stay detoxed with this just one kit, right? Right. So, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? We can't just take this one. This is not a one. This is a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. But this is not going to be You'll the last thing you're ever going to need. You're going to use it because mm -hmm. it's going to work. If you if you use oils and, and you're on the live video, I want you to um, tell us which one you ran out of first. Because okay. I want people to see, like, you run out. You yes. will run out of oils. Um, Peppermint, for sure. <clears throat> I think mine was lavender that I ran out of first. But but you're going to run out. And so... Because um, I'm going to say this, gonna, and this may be non-compliant, but I'm going to say it because it's going to be okay. The peppermint was amazing because Darren could rub it here. Mm -hmm.
he could, uh, Clara could smell it in the car because she doesn't do well in the back seat. Mm -hmm. um, Kira would rub it on her tummy because mm -hmm. she is a weird eater. Like, she just eats, she's kind of weird to eat, you know, feed, feed that one. Yeah. You know, it was so easy. I put it on the roof of my mouth because I tend to get stopped up here. Yeah. Like I mean, like, stuff. we just named four different things that you would need four different yeah. bottles from your local store from. I mean, mm -hmm. in that one bottle. And that's four drops that we just used. Not, yeah. Not yeah. a whole not bottle. Off a bottle. Mm -hmm. One drop. Yeah. One drop for each thing. Yeah. Incredible. It's a big deal. It is. So um, so what what we do there is we use Essential Rewards because oh, it's the yes. absolute cheapest way. And you get presents and goodies and freebies. Monopoly money to spend on other things. Yes. So we, we love to do that. We My family places mm -hmm. multiple orders every month because that's just our go-to now. And we get all of our products and things mm -hmm. like that. I literally don't have to go to the store because mm -hmm. you guys, shampoo, conditioner, soap, toothpaste, hand purifiers, uh, all of our cleaning products, not all of them, yeah, one laundry, of them, laundry soap. our laundry soap, our dishwashing dish soap. soap, our hand, we wash our hands in the mm -hmm. bathroom, um, our, all of our oils, all of our supplements. I wish I had Darren's supplement thing right now. I know, his giant That's so face. sad. I know. Um, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> That's so why we have this one. <laughs> but yeah, so the, um, the point is really, Young Living's going to give you products and money mm -hmm. back when you order from them. So why not switch to cleaner products all from one company that's going to give you presents and money back on right. it, right? I and have it just 367 makes ER points right now. How many do you have? I have 13 because I just spent a whole bunch. Oh, I'm fixing to go in and buy all the Nietzsche Red. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I do a whole other class on that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. But, um, but yeah, so basically like we, we love what we do. We love to help other people find the freedom that we have found and the wellness that we've mm -hmm. found. Um, and so if you'd like to contact one of us, we're going to share our information. But if somebody else shared this video with you, we want you to contact them um, so that they can help Don't call you. me. Yeah. Call them. Yeah. Call the person <laughs> that shared it with you. But um, you can find me, me on Instagram. Um, it's measurably underscore more um, or my website, measurablymore.com or on Facebook. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm living with thieves. No dots, dashes, or spaces. Just living with thieves on Instagram and on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Fun. And you guys, um, don't forget to share this video. Yeah, please do. Those of you in my video up there, they they died. My phone died. It's okay because so. I tagged you in this one. <gasps> It'll still be there. It's Thank on your you. page. You're welcome. Oh, it's Best friends. You. Best friends. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. And again, if y'all have any questions, y'all just Allison let us know. Miller. <laughs> hey, Allison. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good day. Bye.